guys aki for a second <laughs> for a second i thought i was lost like look at this kitchen like in where do i begin where do i begin okay hey yesterday i was feeling so sleepy i'm like i'm not gonna handle these dishes i'm gonna let them just stay like that even i just drank my tea and put it there i have to cut cut these ones yeah yeah uh, chop them uh they were in the fridge i've removed them in the fridge so that they can cool down when i was doing my workout so that i have to i have a lot of work okay this is a complete disaster i see in you this is a disaster what kind of kitchen is this one day of not cleaning the dishes at night and this is the results like oh my god and i was deep frying some stuff there yesterday like i have a lot of cleaning to do but funny part is that i find that the dishes are not how many but here they are just scattered all over oh god let me clean this up guys before i start cleaning guys you know i have to like um arrange the dishes a bit like remove the if there is any dirt i have to remove it first and then i uh, go ahead and start cleaning and you know guys i use pride because like i'm allergic to so many detergent and pride is the only uh, detergent that works for me yeah i really love pride it's it's really amazing and it's like gentle on my hands um yeah so I, by the way uh for the you can see that i'm cleaning with different um uh, soaps i clean with the liquid and also clean with the paste um because like for the paste i use it on my dishes on the dishes that are uh, oily instead of like boiling water the paste the dishwashing paste really works for those dishes that are a bit oily that are even extremely oily it really cleans well so i for me i buy um the paste and also buy pride the liquid i use pride liquid and for the paste i use easy it's called easy yeah it's amazing and those are the two only detergents that are gentle on my hands the easy for dishwashing paste and then uh the, for the liquid it's pride so yeah those are the two things that i use okay for the pride i use on those dishes that are not oily yeah and uh, for the paste i use on my plates those plates that are so oily and all that i also use both like I apply, you can see i'm applying the paste and then i'm putting liquid on top you understand so the dishes will come out of there so clean and do we not see any trace of oil so that's how i do it guys so that's a tip for you you can try it out <music> Finally, my kitchen is clean. That was a lot of work, guys. I was really tired. All those dishes were not a joke. And then I was like in my head, oh my God, after all this work, I have to like cut, cut vegetables. I hate, if there's one job I hate, it's washing dishes and cutting vegetables. That's what I hate the most. I can even wash the whole house. I would wash the whole house and all that stuff. I would go for shopping and all that stuff. I know it's weird to say that, but I would go for shopping yeah i would wash the whole house but dishes and cutting vegetables is one of those things that i hate the most
let's clean the, uh, the other side of the cooker guys and for cleaning you guys know I, will, um, I normally use sufficient but my sufficient was over so I remember there's a hack I saw somewhere here on YouTube you just uh, you put some water in your bottle you add some uh, dishwashing liquid and then you add some vinegar it works the same and I'm telling you guys this thing worked it was and then it was so strong but that was like eh it's so nice like it was had the same smell like my sufficient somehow but yeah i really loved it and my cooker turned out to be so clean so guys in case like um your detergent is over and you don't have time to go out there and shop for one you can try this hack it's really amazing and it worked for me so guys let's cut these vegetables i bought these vegetables in naivas i told you guys in my previous vlog yeah the last week vlog uh yeah I normally buy my vegetables in Naiva supermarket. So I r remove the sticks. Sorry, I normally remove the sticks. For me, I hate the sticks. I don't know if you guys love the sticks, like from the spinach and the skumawiki. I don't like it. I remove everything from the spinach, the skumawiki. I remove the stick totally. I don't like it. I feel like it tastes really bad, the cooking the vegetable with the stick. So guys, I've not shown you everything, but I normally wash the vegetables twice with vinegar and then i wash with plain water and that's how i do it and then as i cut i cut as i clean you understand so like normally i wash it like four times you understand so i didn't want to bore you with all that details of me washing and all that but that's how i do it i wash with vinegar uh, two times and then i wash with uh, plain water two times that's how i do it guys and i don't know how to cut vegetables well so please don't come here and judge me okay just understand i'm trying my best so i normally uh, cut with uh, uh it's called chopping board yeah so that's i can do it easily like i don't know how to cut vegetables that's why like i prefer people cutting for me but i also love vegetables from naivas so like i prefer buying vegetables from naivas and just cutting it myself because I eventually maybe i will come to know how to do it but for now don't judge me if you see like uh, i'm cutting weirdly like my vegetables are too big than no than you normally cut yours just understand that i don't know how to do i'm just trying my best yeah she left her home to find where she Mother's scared to leave her all alone But she got time And she knows what to figure out This scene in a dream A place where it seems to love will come around So don't stay So guys, I wanted to give you a hack. If you have cut your vegetables early cabbage, you add a, a bit of salt. You know cabbage has that weird smell. So if you're not cooking immediately, just add a bit of salt on top of it. Not that much, just a bit. Just sprinkle some salt all over your vegetable, you understand? your cabbage, not the other vegetable. I mean cabbage because it has a weird smell. And then the other one, you cover it with a foil and put it in the fridge. That's how I, I preserve my... Uh, cabbage because uh for this kuma week i'm just i was cutting it and then i'm gonna like um it's called what like uh, steam it and put it in the fridge but for the cabbage that's what you're gonna be having tonight so that's how you do it you add some uh bit of uh salt so i'm here cleaning uh the floor and i am using safisha uh, disinfectant the one i showed you uh pine fresh i showed you in one of my vlogs pine fresh. it smells amazing and of course with a bit of uh dishwashing liquid that's how i clean my floors and really the floors turn out to be so amazing like they are clean and they smell amazing so you're disinfecting at the same time you're making your house smell heavenly Like a deadly falling 
Finally, uh, the floors are clean, everywhere is clean, the dishes, even outside, you can see even my balcony, I cleaned it off camera, it's so clean, I've emptied the dustbin and all that, and the house is smelling amazing, oh god, I had hated the way it was looking before, but now it looks amazing, but then these days, I just love cleaning dishes at night, and this day, I didn't, and you can see the hard, the kind of work I had to deal with, uh, I said after this day, I was like, never. I will never leave dishes at night like that again. So here, I told you I'm going to steam those vegetables, the green ones, and put them in the fridge later on. So I'm here cooking supper. And for dinner, I'll be cooking rice, a mixture of rice and beans. Oh my God, I love it. I love this mixture. We used to like eat it at home uh, sometimes when you go and as in when we went to visit my grandma in our shags, we used, she used to cook this and it used to be amazing. May her soul rest in peace. So I always remember this recipe and I always try it uh, from, my ma from my grandmother's cooking. And oh my God, I love it because it's always so delicious, guys. It was literally delicious, tasting amazing. And the color is everything when you're making this meal, the color always blows your mind as i told you guys i'm not gonna be leaving that dishes so after dinner i cleaned you can see the kitchen is clean the vegetables are there i just want them to cool down and put them in the fridge everywhere is clean i left the kitchen clean after dinner so yeah i'm here drinking my tea from melvin guys have you tried this tea uh it helps with insomnia so this is uh my current favorite tea tea guys uh, if you're in kenya just go to any supermarket guys and you'll see varieties of tea from melvin from this one chamomile those people say chamomile just the way you pronounce you want to pronounce it uh there's hibiscus yeah there's green tea there's purple tea any tea that you want to try you can try it guys so until my next video guys bye thank you so much for watching i'll be seeing you in my next vlog guys bye bye